Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to kick off our HTML5 series. And this first video isn't going to dive into any code, so if you just want to jump into code and get going, feel free to go on to the next one. But first, I really just wanted to give an overview of what HTML5 really is. And, you know, people might be thinking HTML5 is this big thing, it's, you know, scary or whatever. It might just be mysterious because it has this name, HTML5. But really, HTML5 is just the next version of HTML. And using HTML5 is really no different than using HTML. So learning it is really not, um, you know, a big deal. However, you should be using HTML5 because you can, and you could have before, but now especially, I haven't started a project that's not HTML5 in a few years now, and you shouldn't really be using anything other than HTML5 at this point anyways. So what is... What is it exactly? I mean, it's an in, it's an it's the next increment in the, the version of HTML. You could just say it's HTML. Um, in fact, many people are pushing for it to not even be called HTML, to just call it HTML. There it is, uh, because that's really what it is. Uh, but what can it, what does it offer you that's different from HTML five or HTML four point one or HTML in general? Well, it gets rid of a few elements that aren't being used and people aren't going to really care about anyways like frame and stuff like that and it adds some new elements like section and header and footer these things that are going to make your code more semantic so that's just really semantics it's just going to be changing the way you write some of your codes it's not going to be presentational at all but it also offers things like uh, video tag, the audio tag, which use your browser's built-in uh, functionality to render you know, video controls and audio controls so that you're really taking advantage of whatever device you're on and whatever browser you're using. It's gonna be using their controls, not uh, whatever ones you are built. And therefore, it doesn't have to rely on Flash or plugins or anything like that. So. Uh, what else does it offer? I mean, it also offers something called the canvas, which canvas is just an HTML tag. And canvas is a little mysterious because it's so many cool things you can do with it. But HTML canvas tag is just an element, just like any other element. It just allows as a canvas for JavaScript. So you can write some really complex JavaScript to make some really complex interactions, 3D, 2D, using you know WebGL and all sorts of stuff. Uh, and you can make some really awesome stuff with uh, Canvas and HTML5. But Canvas is not HTML5. It's just an element just like any of these other elements. So what this series is going to do is we're going to teach you how to build sites in HTML5. We're going to go over the new, the new elements, the new tags, what exactly they mean, when to use them, what sort of the semantic benefits of them are, uh, which ones are still maybe in flux because, you know, the... Uh, the HTML5 as a whole is, is a little bit, you know, it's changing. For instance, the H group tag has been in and out of the specification, um, you know, for a couple of years now. I believe it's out currently. Uh, so people have various opinions on things like that. And we're going to we're gonna give you a little bit of insight into all of that. We're also going to teach you how to use video and audio using those new tags and what cool stuff you can do with that. And we're going to get into some Canvas stuff. We're not going to go Canvas crazy. You might not be building 3D games in Canvas with this uh, series. But you will learn the basics of getting around Canvas and some cool stuff you can do with it. So, uh, how can you use HTML5 right now? Well, we're going to get started in the next video with your first HTML5 site. And how compatible is it going to be? Well, it can be compatible with pretty much any modern browser that people are using. And even back to IE7 and so with something called the HTML5 shiv or shim, depending on which camp you're in on the name of that. But we're, we're going to get your site working just like it would if it was not HTML5. So follow along with this series. Check it out. We got a lot of stuff coming, and I hope you like it. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments about this series or our videos, please hit us up on Twitter or Facebook. Uh, anywhere, you know, you can go to our website, leveluptuts.com. Let us know what you're thinking, and we always love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Bye.